again, I just filmed another intro. This is so weird. I'm in the same clothing. But I filmed a pantry organization slash cleaning. It's mostly like cleaning with me. I didn't buy any new bins for my cabinets or pantry. Um, so it's like basically cleaning because I got rid of a bunch of stuff. My Okay, so we moved in over a year ago now. It's so weird. Uh, we bought this house a year ago. Oh my gosh, we've been living here for so long. Anyway, um... So when we moved in, I just shoved stuff in pantries, didn't know what was where and whatever. Um, and I really haven't cleaned since then, <laughs> like deep cleaned my cabinets. Is that strange and awful? Hashtag awful mom, awful, awful housekeeper. Anyway, um, so I go through all my, how many cabinets? One, two, three, three cabinets a pantry, and then a bonus drawer I'm going to show you in this video. I hope this inspires you to maybe clean or whatever and let you know that like you can organize your pantries without going out and spending like a lot of money on like cute jars and cute baskets because that's totally what I wanted to do, but <laughs> my wallet was like, I don't think so. So I uh, hope you get some inspiration. Okay guys, right now I'm just taking everything out of the cupboard. Look at that. Well, I'm starting to put stuff back that I know I'm going to keep. But like these are all of our sprinkles. Can you see? Look how crazy that is. All of our spices and stuff that I need to refill and these containers that don't match but they're hodgepodge and that's what I have. All of these spices. Oh my gosh, all these teas that I don't even drink. I do not drink tea or coffee or anything like that. That is the garbage pile so far. I'm going through looking at expiration dates. Look at this guys. Can you see? Okay. 2013. Can you believe that? Oh my, and it's like not even used. I must have bought it for something and then, ha, never used it. And I've been carrying it along with me. So there it is. Can you believe how much better it looks? Holy cow. I feel so much lighter. So sprinkles, spices. Those are like the spices that I don't use very often, AKA like all of them, except for salt and pepper, which is uh, down there. Um, and then the huge ones in the back just have some rice because I'm constantly grabbing that and then while, while I don't use the food coloring and stuff all that often and that is um, like extracts and I always say in my recipe videos oh I don't have vanilla extract but look at that I sure do I just needed to clean and find it and then my bulk food section looks so makes me so happy it looks so good um, in all the jars I still need to buy a bunch more jars all right let's move on to another cabinet but enjoy that view. What I forgot to show you guys is all the garbage that came out of it. Look at all that. Yuck, some of it was expired, like those Jellos. Did you guys know Jello expired? Expires, because it does. Um, a couple other things were, oh, those spices were expired. Um, those things, I don't, that ginger tea is like from Alex's dad's house. I wonder what the expiration date is on it. All right, so I cleared everything out, got everything down here. I actually don't have that much. This is really just for uh, the lunches. And then that's all the stuff that I'm gonna get rid of. This, I don't have the other container for. This, I seriously don't even know where it came from, <laughs> honestly. This, I never ever use, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. It's taking up a lot of space for something that we never use. That's garbage. I don't know, what is this, a, a Chinese stick? Like a chopstick? I don't know, and Halloween. Sprinkles were in there. Oh, and chalk. What the heck is chalk doing in there? I'll n I, I couldn't tell you. Anyway, I'm gonna organize it. Hopefully, it looks all right. Good. So, a little update. <laughs> That's what it looks so looks like so far. Look at all that space up top. What can I put up there? Endless possibilities. But I wanted to share with you. I usually have. Oh, there it is. I usually have my. Um, oh gosh, I always forget the name of these paper clips. Is that right? <laughs> I think it is. Um, this is a waste of money, just in case you're wondering. Unless you, you would use them, we have not yet. So, waste of money for us. And we, I usually keep my um, jar of coins up here. I'm gonna have to find a new spot for them. I don't know, unless I wanna put them way in the back. And then I'll forget it's there, I feel like. I don't know, but those are the things that I'll probably shove up at the very top. All right, so there it is. My heart is still very happy. Right there it is. You guys know the drill by now. It's emptied and wiped down. And here's everything that was inside. 
some of the stuff I'm like what the heck I forgot I even had like these frozen cupcake liners from when Eleanor turned two years old so we've had those in there for a while this is like my cupcake liner bin some of them are just like get rid of them right or like this is empty it's like garbage why did I put this back in here all my measuring cups um, this is stuff to like ice a cake or cupcakes. I have bags for that as well. All my essential oils. Yes, those of you who do essential oils, you're like screaming at me. This is how I store them because I'm so fancy. What is this in there? Oh, that's my iron capsules from when, uh, when I was pregnant and needed extra iron. Um, this is like a powdered sugar thing. I don't know why it's in there. This was from like a million Christmases ago. The kids' vitamins. Have you guys heard of the crazy powers of Camu Camu powder? Look into it. That's awesome. Why was this in there? I was probably trying to hide this from the kids. This needs to go in the garbage, and these are old. They need to go in the garbage. Oh, and this is my recipe. This is my recipe book. A lot of people ask me about it and like where I got it and stuff. Um, I got it from. Let me turn to like a decent page so you can look at it. It's so cool. You can take the pages out. Is this in focus? It's hard for me to tell. You can take um, these index cards out and write on them, and you know you can see both sides. But I got it. Ooh, there's the tag right there. I think I got it from Hallmark. Yep, Hallmark, and it was ooh goo twenty dollars. It was actually a gift. So whoever got this for me really loved me. It was my cousin, and she spent twenty dollars on it. But I love it. I absolutely love it. It's so cute. Here it is, all finished measuring cups down here uh what is that recipe book essential oils and hot plates and all my cupcake stuff is up there out of reach because i do not want to make cupcakes more than birthday time but you guys know me of course i'm gonna make them like tonight now that i, I cupcakes is in my head so now i'm gonna make them fire up the oven oh my gosh now this is what i have to tackle god help me all right people so there it is everything on my counter my pantry is bare i wiped it down a little bit well kind of bare obviously i know that's staying up there and those beans are going to stay there my bins that's all popcorn so that's staying in there uh yeah that's hot cocoa i don't know why i didn't take that out <laughs> um but that is everything i threw some stuff away down there had some old tortillas and stuff uh what else did i want to say oh this was in my pantry uh, was this supposed to be refrigerated can you i've never opened it is this supposed to be refrigerated always obviously i didn't know i bought this at sam's club so it's old and i actually forgot that i had it and now i feel like it's wasted this i haven't looked at the expiration date yet but i used to use this all the time and now i never reach for it uh, when we were dairy free this was like a it's like a soy milk powder substitute you know what i mean when i would bake and stuff uh that is awesome for new mamas what and this i used to make my own soap yes guys like seriously i used to be a pinterest mom six years ago when i only had one child and nothing else to do <laughs> uh yeah so that's all of our stuff Hopefully I can get it all back in there and it's going to look super duper fantastic. Okay, here is the final. Pro oh, wait, those don't belong there. Let's put these somewhere. Maybe down here. There we go. There it is. All right, guys, there it is. Here is the final pantry. It's all done. It's all organized. Here, here we go. Big stuff up there. Breadcrumbs, flour, sugar, oatmeal, and then... Um, you can see below we just have like extra ketchup and mayonnaise and barbecue sauce and all that kind of stuff um, Over there are my treats um, Cake mixes basically some baby stuff back there. Not too much pastas dried rice and pasta and stuff um, Here I just have some random jars. Those are pumpkin seeds. That's all my quinoa what are these? Oh, these are all my Lara bars just shoved in here. I got these jars for like $3 each at Target in their dollar spot. There's my granola and then breakfast stuff, breakfast cereal and all that stuff. Down here, I just have canned foods and then agave, some oils, peanut butter, honey, that kind of thing. Um, down here, I have all the snackies. So it's down low so the kids can reach it. I just have like um, dried fruit and vegetables down there and then those are all the nuts 
and stuff, trail mixes, and then over here, just some snacky foods that the kids can grab. There's coconut flakes and then some more kind bars and graham, what are those? Graham crackers, animal crackers, whatever. And then down here, um, that's our popcorn bin. I really didn't even touch that. I guess I should, I could like clean that off. <laughs> clean the rest of it the least I could do is just clean that the rest you know that up a little bit um pancake mix crackers um what is that hot cocoa and then tortillas tortillas yes I know how to say it um and then this bin for I normally have it for like chips and stuff but um yeah we don't have any chips right now so there it is oh my gosh I feel so much lighter because all of that is out of my pantry those are just empty boxes I took stuff out of them and then all of this stuff is expired slash bad. I, I think I'm just gonna get rid of this. Um, maybe I'll wait for you guys to tell. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be refrigerated. Whoopsie, Daisy. So sad. I bought these for a birthday party, oh, two years ago or so. I don't know. These expired in January and these expired in like 2015. So, <laughs> um, and then uh, these expired too. One of our friends gave us this and I just, I never made it. We never eat applesauce and we never have people over. So I'm just going to get rid of those. And, um, I'm, I think I'm just going to give this to someone. I don't think it's bad. I just, um, I bought like other pouches of seasonings and they just weren't good. Anyway, yeah, that's the stuff I'm getting rid of and I feel real good about it. Oh, and bonus drawer, bonus drawer down here. So this is like where I keep silverware. This drawer is pots and pans because I'm super fancy like that. I don't have that many. Uh, we have an induction, we have an induction stove. So I had to get rid of a lot of my normal pots and pans. Anyway, this is like my party drawer. I got this idea off of Clutterbug, I think. She opened up one of her drawers and it was like all for party supplies. I was like, oh my gosh, I need that. So, um, all of this, we have like a bunch of uh, family who come over once a month. And plus we have like people over all the time because we have a pool and it's summertime. So we've got a bunch of kids. So when we have uh, more than, I don't know, I want to say more than a few people over, we go for paper plates and paper cups, something I can throw away so I don't have to wash everything. And I can just take this out really easily. Those are all like condiments, hot sauce, and what's back there, paper bags and stuff. So yeah, I thought that was an awesome idea. You can just lift it right out and like take it along and everything's in the same spot. What was here before was like random, just like I had a rolling pin and then just some random junk. So I found new homes for stuff in there and that's my party drawer. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. This was probably a long video. I feel like I edited it. I think it's around like 17 minutes, 20 minutes. Am I wrong? Thanks for hanging out until the end. If you did, why don't you put like an emoji in the comments? What kind of emoji? Alex, are you there? What's your favorite emoji? Um, the chocolate ice cream. No, I hate that one. Everyone thinks it's. You pink. asked me what the favorite one was, not uh, you. What's your second favorite? Um, meh. The meh. Meh. I don't know where that one is. I couldn't even comment that one. Oh, look at you! Boy. What's your favorite emoji? What's your favorite emoji? <laughs> Put the baby emoji if you made it to the end. By the way. The baby emoji. By the way, the chocolate emoji is actually poop, but I call it the chocolate emoji. But no, everyone thinks it's poop, but it's actually like no, it's poop. It's it's ice, icing. I thought it was chocolate ice cream, but it's not. I think it was initially supposed to be chocolate icing. Ice cream. Yeah, chocolate ice icing. Cream. Well, whatever. <laughs> it's all sugar. <laughs> all right, baby emoji, if you made it this far, people.